Hello and welcome to Miniature Isles, my name is Stuart and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today it's Warlord Games' Epic Battles, Duke of Wellington. So this is a small scale miniature, 13.5mm to the eye, so just a bit smaller than 15mm. It's been prepared using a Zenithal pre-highlight or underpaint method. I'll pop a little link to that method in the video now if you haven't come across it before but what it essentially gives me is a grey scale miniature to work from which is fantastic at taking glazes and I'll be using a lot of contrast paints in this to base coat the miniature. First up we're just going to quickly get the flesh down with contrast fire slayer flesh. Next up some army paint and hardened leather. Now army painter speed paints are very much like contrast um, but some of them especially the kind of warmer browns and reds do reactivate slightly when painting over the top. Now contrast black legion I'm going to be painting the mane and the tail and also the socks of the horse and I've left some areas white so that it doesn't go over the hardened leather from army painter removing the issue of the reactivation. Now for this next section, I'm actually using Contrast Black Templar, not Black Legion. I'm holding up the wrong pot there, but I'm using it for the boots, the reins, his hat and so on. Now some Flesh Terrors Red for the sash. An Army Painter Zealot Yellow for some tassels. Contrast Asamen Blue for the horse's blanket. And Contrast Storm Fiend for his coat. Now some Army Painter Cloudburst Blue for the under jacket. Contrast Black Legion for the necktie. Contrast Gore Grunt of Fur for the telescope. And Wildwood for Wellington's hair. Model colour Royal Blue for the first highlights on the blanket. Scale 75 Bearing Blue for the highlights on the over jacket. and model colour dark Prussian blue for the highlight of the undercoat. Followed by model colour Prussian blue for a further highlight. Scale 75 graphite grey for highlighting the black leather areas to so the hat, the boots and the reins. Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet for highlighting the red areas. Citadel Phalanx Yellow for highlighting those yellow tassels. Model Cutter Flat Earth for the first highlight on the horse's flesh. Followed by Beige Brown for a secondary highlight. Some Vallejo Noctura Natural Flesh for the first flesh layer. Followed by Noctura Fairy Flesh for the top highlight. Some model colour off-white for the trousers and visible shirt. Some scale 75 black metal for the metal areas on the telescope and on the sword hilt. Some Vallejo Game Air Silver to highlight those metal areas. You can also do the stirrups with these as well. Scale colour Necro Gold for the brass areas on the horse's reins. Highlighted with scale colour Elven Gold. Same gold method used on both the sword hilt and the horse's reins. And there we have it, finished Wellington on horse. Now, it's a relatively quick tutorial. I wanted to try to get my painting tutorials, or at least some of them, 
down to a kind of watch watch and while you're having a cup of tea kind of length rather than sort of the more indulgent 20 to 30 minute ones and I thought using these characters was the perfect way of doing it so let me know what you think to that in the comments as always with many of my painting tutorials at least those that use contrast over the zenith or preparation you could drop off about halfway through without doing any of the highlights. I didn't stop and talk about that in the middle of the video. Um, I think I've talked about it enough. And if you are new finding this for the first time, then the explanation video on the Zenithal pre-highlighting is uh, sort of a good way to describe what I'm trying to achieve there. But essentially, the miniature prepared in that way, if you prepare it very well with underpainting, the, the contrast glazes over the top give you a really nice natural highlight and shade anyway, more so than you do just over a plain white prime. However, because it's a special character model, um, it was it would have been wrong not to go on and do a few more little extra details. But saying that, this is still very much a tabletop miniature. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I plan to do more of these epic battles personalities. There are 15 in total with the three sets, the British, the French and the Prussians. I won't be doing all 15, maybe just one from each set. I will probably do Napoleon next for obvious reasons and then something from the Prussian set, Blucher, would be an obvious contender. Um, I am very, very taken with the Picton model, so I am tempted to go back and do a similar kind of video for that, though I am at pains to repeat myself and after watching one of these videos, you'd have a pretty good idea of how to replicate that for the other characters, especially the model like Picton where the paint scheme and the colours are very, very similar. But let me know if enough people are really really super interested in seeing some of the other miniatures painted um, I will try to add them to my very very busy rotation so thank you very much for watching if you have liked the video please do give us a like it helps me lots if you haven't subscribed to the channel already check out the other things on there lots of painting tutorials lots of things from different periods and even some middle earth things as well so if you like what you see consider subscribing that would be fantastic too anyway thanks very much take care and I'll catch you soon <laughs>